असलकुम आई एम डॉक्टर बिनीश बदर एंड आई विल ब्रीफली डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द डायरिया इट्स टाइप्स क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट हेयर इज द केस अ सेवन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड प्रजेंट्स विद ग्रीन वाटर स्टूल ही आल्सो हैज़ वॉमिटिंग एंड इरेटेबिलिटी फॉर द लास्ट वन डे ही आल्सो हैज़ सनकन आइज ऑन फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन नाउ कम टू द डारिया डारिया इट इज़ डिफाइंड as it is an illness in which the body solid waste is more liquid and comes out of the body more often so it is defined as increase in stool weight to greater than 250 g per day it is also accompanied by increased frequency and liquidity of stools called diarrhea acute diarrhea lasting less than 2 weeks and chronic diarrhea persist for more than 2 weeks it's two types acute and chronic now come to the acute diarrhea in acute diarrhea it may result from emotional stress second one food intolerance third one organic substances like mushrooms shellfish and drugs and infectious agents including viruses bacteria and protozoa now chronic diarrhea we uh, these are the classification it may divided into six categories such as osmotic diarrhea secretory diarrhea inflammatory diarrhea inflammatory diarrhea due to inflammation inflammatory diarrhea then mal absorptive due to mal absorption diarrhea mal absorptive diarrhea due to infections chronic infections diarrhea infectious diarrhea and due to mortality disorder mortality disorder diarrhea these are the classifications of chronic diarrhea now come to the causes of diarrhea causes of diarrhea divided into inflammatory and non inflammatory first of all virus is the causative agent in inflammatory rota virus and non inflammatory cytomegalovirus now protozoal causative agent in inflammatory giardia and non inflammatory entamoeba histolytica and in the bacteria bacterial causative agent in inflammatory staphylococcus and non inflammatory salmonella and shigella diarrhea is one of the most common health complaints it can range from a mild temporary condition to a potentially life threatening condition there are estimated 2 billion cases of diarrhea in global can occur so there are two uh, clean uh, sudden diarrhea and chronic diarrhea in sudden diarrhea patient presents with food poisoning clever diarrhea stomach flu and chronic diarrhea patient presents with celiac disease food intolerance allergy soy protein intolerance here are the clinical features of diarrhea the severity of diarrhea can divide into three mild moderate and severe in mild three or few more stools per day in moderate four or more stools per day but it also associated with symptoms such as abdominal cramps nausea and tenesmus and in severe four or more stools fever chills and dehydration now what are the complications complications of diarrhea if it is left untreated first circulatory shock second acute renal failure due to these are the complications acute renal failure then metabolic acidosis there is fluid and electrolyte imbalance then electrolyte imbalance or depletion leading to lethargy and paralytic ileus now how to diagnose the diarrhea doctor mostly prefer some test like stool examination stool test blood test stool examination is performed to detect fecal leukocytes ova and parasites stool culture in bloody diarrhea serum electrolytes recommend serum urea and creatinine test sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy if ulcerative colitis is suspected now management 
during management first of all dietary requirements dietary portions in diet soft easily digested diet such as soups is preferred and frequent feedings of fruit drinks such as tea cold drinks are encouraged and third rest bowel by avoiding high fiber diet by avoiding fats by avoiding milk products by avoiding caffeine and alcohol now we must treat uh, treat the rehydration we do, must do rehydration in which oral rehydration solution fluids should be given at the rate of 50 to 200 ml per kg intravenous fluids intravenous fluids are preferred in patient with severe dehydration normal saline or ringolactoid is given to restore water and electrolytes dextrose water should be avoided in antidiarrheal agents loperamide is preferred in a dosage of 4 mg initially after each loose stool and antibiotic therapy due to infections antibiotics are given ciprofloxacin and metronidazole these are the this these are the management of diarrhea thank you